Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Monday, the 1st of April 2019. So, starting off with the pound, on Friday we see the market trading down to the 200 bar moving average there and bouncing off it, and prices up on the overnight as well. So, let's have a look in a bit more detail. Uh, Friday, initially, prices uh, move lower, and uh, we see this with the potential sell signal the market uh, moved down to the low of thursday uh, sitting there sideways pretty good clue that the market's not going to move any lower we then had a, a buy signal a reversal and uh, we see prices then uh, shoot higher and then the opportunity to uh, take profits as the market hits the 200 bar moving average plus from here to here will be a 76 percent uh, retracement as well so again that uh, pattern playing out you can see there so if you miss the profits on the top you can pick them off as you get a bit of a bounce if not if you'd have trailed then uh, at 50 percent as the market made its lower highs then you'll see the uh, profit taking area there of the DP. So it's all fairly repeatable in uh, what the market does, as you've seen in the alerts um, time and time again. Now, just before, actually, we'll look at the news now, and it's only US news today. We've got retail sales, core retail, and ISM manufacturing PMI. And again, they're not really going to make a, a fat lot of difference uh, to the market. Just be aware that those are out uh, in pre-market, which was uh, bringing me to the other point. And that is uh, primary trade time. As we've moved the clocks forward an hour now, so we need to adjust the software to account for this. So we'll move back to 6.35 and 14.30. Left click on apply and then make sure you save and I didn't do this at the outset because I thought it may alter these signals, which it didn't, uh, thankfully. But uh, that's what you need to do there before moving on. And then in the Dow for Friday, again, we'll have a look at the price action before we adjust the times. And if we start off with the daily chart, uh, you will see that uh, we broke above the 20 bar moving average and continued higher. We went through the 76% retracement also on uh, friday and then overnight so uh, we've seen a boost and prices above the twenty six thousand uh, level there uh, at the moment this is of no surprise whatsoever as i've said many many times before they're going to keep this going as long as they can you will get pullbacks as we saw from uh, december through to january of this year but then they'll bring it back in any way shape or form that they can so intraday Friday, the market uh, trading down towards the 200 bar moving average puts in a buy signal. The market moved higher, but then it came and retested. And this is uh, nice here because you see this selling and then the reversal above the 200 bar moving average. You get the retracement and then you get the market just uh, weaving its way up until uh, the close on Friday. The market moving up over 100 points there. And on the overnight, we just drag this across, you'll see that we have a gapped up bar, prices have gapped up, and they've continued to move up. We're already at the R2 level for the Dow, and uh, you can see a bit of a pullback going on there. So watch the pre-market session on this. It's, uh, it will be certainly be interesting to see. And uh, from here, we've got this low here, which and then up to here is already 100 points, 150 points from the open on uh, this market but struggling a bit at the moment but watch the r3 if the market trades uh, higher in the pre-market session and if it does trade higher in the pre-market uh, electronic session then uh, don't expect a lot in the main event because the, this is another pattern that uh, we're revisiting in the dow where prices are being moved in the pre-market session and not uh, too much in the main event and then finally, in Bitcoin, the only thing to report here is that uh, we do have a uptrend in this market. We have got resistance uh, across here, which you can see, but we have what's uh, known as an ascending triangle formation here in traditional technical analysis. And nine times out of ten, the market will actually break to the upside. And as prices uh, come back, they will use this 
uh, resistance level as a support. So certainly, uh, even though there is a sideways uh, pattern here, which uh, you can see, if I just uh, change the tools here, you can see there's a sideways move, but contained within this, we have got this uh, ascending triangle formation, which is a, a bullish indication for this market. So let's see how this unfolds when we break through these resistance levels here. And let's just add them onto the chart as well, just so that uh, we have a figure to keep in mind whilst uh, watching the markets there. And uh, there you go, 4,174 is the price that uh, you are looking for there. Just one other thing, let me just go back to the Dow. Make sure that you change the primary times to 1435 and 2000 click apply file save and now we'll be in sync with uh, the times uh, the time change from the weekend there okay that will do it for this one if there is anything else to report i will let you know but otherwise uh, let's see what shenanigans go on this week with uh, regards to brexit uh, again indicative votes today but uh, that shouldn't affect the market uh, too much. I don't think they vote on it today, well, I, to be honest with you. I, I've lost uh, the will to live uh, with regards to it because uh, you just don't know what's uh, happening at the moment. So, uh, yeah, just keep that in mind, though. There could be some uh, votes today uh, with regards to Brexit. But the Dow pre-market session, watch out for the market moving higher. And then in uh, Bitcoin, watch that uh, resistance level that uh, we saw here at 4174 just in case it's taken out and driven through because it's up on the overnight uh, there as well uh, which uh, you can see there it's already moved higher okay that will do it for this one thanks for watching see you in the next one